What's up everybody? Welcome to this video. That's right. You know, I've been waiting quite some time for more people to ask this question. What's the difference in a GMC truck and a Chevy truck, right? I mean, what is the differences really when it comes down to the brass tacks of things, right? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today in this video. So stay with us. Let's get started. I hope you can have a little fun with us. Alright everybody, so we're going to start out with a basic GMC Sierra work truck like this right behind us. We got two of them sitting here today. Once we get done talking about some of the stuff on this truck, then we're going to walk over and take a look at a GMC Sierra that's not a work truck. Okay, four-door crew cab, SLE, something like that. So we're going to kind of look at those. Then once all that's done, we're going to head down to our Chevrolet dealership and kind of compare with a Silverado. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get the party started. So starting out on the front end of the truck, okay? Now you're going to notice one thing today, folks, when it really comes down to us. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I could really make just a short video about 15, 20 seconds long and sum it all up. But for some reason on YouTube, we got to stretch these videos out a little bit longer so the algorithms and all the things that YouTube and Google does will pick us up and throw us out there in a special spot called Viewland. So anyways, <laughs> Anyways, right? Kicking the tripod around, getting a little sh shaky here, and I'm starting to get the hiccups. But so the front end of the truck, that's going to be one spot you're going to want to look at. First off, on a GMC work truck, and we will look at a Chevy work truck as well today, you're going to see the difference is the front grill. The whole grill area there is different than a Silverado. The logo, of course, is different. You got that massive GMC logo there. And then the headlights are different compared to a Silverado. They got to do that. When you start looking at, like, over here, the actual side body, if you kind of just blocked out, let's see, right there, and just kind of looked at that, you could say, oh, I see a Chevy Silverado. Or, oh, I see a Sil... Silverado, <laughs> not a Sierra, right? A Silverado. That's what we see. But then when you kind of move your hand out the way, right? Let's do that again. Ooh, there we go. A little magic trick of the hand. Then you say, oh, that's a GMC Sierra. Yeah. So what I can really say here is that when it comes down to a work truck, I think the GMC is just a little more pretty little more nicer you got these headlights on this vehicle that have the LED daytime running lights going on let's go ahead and test it out so you hit the lock button oopsie hitting the wrong truck that's an f-150 over there <laughs> all right hold on a minute bear with us I do apologize here's the key all right so that's you that's your key fob and your key to this truck let's hit the lights okay anyways I guess we won't have to crank it up to show you this I thought it might have a remote start but it doesn't Holy mackerel, it took two minutes just to get through that and I didn't get any good information out to you. I'm sure some of y'all watching are probably banging your head on your desk, smashing your iPhone on the ground right now. You're like, this guy's wasting my life, wasting my time, man. Don't do that. I've heard it all, folks. I guarantee you. I bet I'm probably one of the main car reviewers on YouTube today that probably gets the most hate comments and crazy comments from automotive people. I'm serious, people. Seriously. I catch it all. But hey, we do that for a reason. We enjoy reading your nice comments and your good ones. Alright. Well, it did not do what I thought it was going to do. Well, why not? I thought we'd be able to see those LED daytime running lights. But they're not on right now. I'm assuming there's an LED running light right in here. But I can tell you right now, I don't think your Silverado is going to have a nice projector bulb right there or any of this going on. So that's what I'm getting at, folks. Your headlight assembly is nicer on the GMC. The grill looks nicer on the GMC. The logo is big. It looks nice. It's got the red. It's not a gold bow tie. Right? You got that going on. Let's see if we can cut those on. Maybe they are. 
running lights for the daytime. But at this point, I don't think they are. I think they're just part of the headlights. And it says, all right, anyway, let's go back and look. Again, I do apologize, but we're getting there. Okay, so when your headlights are on, which actually look like a nice shade of like a light baby blue going on there or something like that. Maybe they're LED, I don't really know. But the headlights look good. You got this pretty little ring that kind of goes around it that seems to be only on when the vehicle's lights are on. So that technically wouldn't be an LED or daytime running light. But it looks good. I think it's going to have a better looking housing than your Silverado. We'll definitely know more here in a few minutes when we get down to the Chevy store. So the front end's different. Does the Silverado work truck have this black going around the fender? I'm not exactly sure yet. That's one thing we'll look at when we get down there. Other than that, again, it's just a work truck. There's not a bunch of bells and whistles on this thing, okay? This is about the exactly the same rear end as a Silverado. Even got the same spot to put your foot to climb into the back. I mean, not a whole lot of difference. I think the only difference you got back here, again, is just the logo. And really, at the end of this long video, you're going to say, well, really, the only difference is... There's logos and things like that, and maybe a little different styling of the front grille. It's not going to be a whole lot of difference, folks. Now, what does GMC actually stand for, for some people that don't have a clue? General Motors Company. That's what it stands for. If any of y'all watching right now got some kind of funny funny little meme or funny little abbreviation for that, please feel free to go in the comment section because I don't know any funny jokes of what GMC stands for other than General Motors Company. And it's not a joke, folks. It's General Motors, baby. All right? Good stuff going on there, right? We've all heard them with Ford. Again, I'm not going to mention any on the video, but you're welcome to go in the comment section and let me know your funny phrases on Ford and Kia and GMC and Chevy and anyways all that stuff other than that you got a big old eight-foot bed back here You could fit a huge eight-foot alligator in the back Just make sure if you're gonna catch an alligator strap some tape around him and make sure you got two people sit on top of him Strap that tape around and throw him in the back of your GMC truck All right, anyways not an alligator video. It's a truck video But the only reason I bring up alligators sometimes is because I have actually seen big old alligators. One time I seen a Chevy Silverado truck that had like four big old gators in the back of it. I'm telling you, it was probably the coolest thing I ever saw in my life. And I said to the guy that was in the truck, I said, dude, where are you taking them gators? Oh, take them to the gator farm down in Florida. <laughs> All right. Again, this is just a work truck. What else is different from the Chevy? Because we're going to go down there and look. Well, I do I'll tell you right now what I'm, see, I'm, I'm assuming is... Maybe the Chevy won't have power windows, power door locks, and power mirrors. I don't know. We'll know in a little bit. On the inside, is it different, right? Yeah, of course it is, right? Your logo is different on the steering wheel. You got cruise control. You got a screen through the middle. AC is blowing cold. You got a screen over there on that one. You got some LED lights up top, which is nice. Even got a pair of sunglass holders to throw them Mally Jims, Ray Bams, Costas, whatever you got. And you got old crap handles above the window sills. Because you know if you take your wife on a ride in your truck on Sunday and you go fast around the corner, she's going to grab on the A-pillar handle or that one right there and say, Hold on, Johnny. You're going too fast around the corners. And I'm going to freaking slide across. And baby, come on, slide right over here in my seat. I'm going to give you a big old kiss on the cheek. And let's go have an ice cream sandwich. All right, let's go take a look at one over there. That's an actual 1500 with a little more to it. All right, everybody, I hope you're enjoying this video. I don't make videos to be boring. I make them to have fun. While I'm doing my job, I like to have a good time, say some funny things, and hopefully get y'all laughing a little bit. There's so many car reviewers on YouTube today that really seriously put me to sleep. What? So this happens to be a 2009 GMC Sierra SLE Z71 four-wheel drive, leather interior, chrome wheels. It's a pretty truck. The only difference that you're really going to see on this truck versus a Silverado, again, is the front bumper. The headlights look a little different. The grill, the logo. That is really it. Maybe the hood on a Chevy is a little different design up on there. But other than that, not a whole lot of differences, okay? Again, that's really the whole gist of this video. If you continue watching right now at this point, you're just waiting to see us go down a Chevy and go look at a Silverado. 
I mean, again, that from right there, that's a Chevy Silverado all day long. Other than the logos, it looks just like a Chevy. Again, Chevy and GMC are basically the same company. If I'm wrong, and sometimes I am wrong, and that's why I get a lot of hate comments online, if I'm wrong, please go in the comment section and let me know if the motor is something better about it, if the fit and finish is better on a GMC versus a Chevy. You know, if there's something that makes it better, because obviously the pricing is a little bit higher than buying a Chevy. I really have asked people this before. I've seen comments on videos before of mine and they just say, look, I happen to like buying GMC trucks versus Chevy. You know, I had a guy one time, a little bit older fella, said, you know, there ain't a whole lot of difference in a Chevy and a GMC. But I'll tell you one thing, that GMC stands for General Motors Company, and that's why I buy them, okay? I want to, I want to keep GMC around for many more years, okay? Because just like Pontiac and some of those other companies out there, they seem to go out of business at some point. And I'd like to see GMC stay around for a long time, okay? Because Buick, okay, now Buick vehicles, Buicks, they lasted a long time, they ride good, they soft, and guess what? Now Buick is still in business, even today. But GMC is still in business too, and that's because us old folks, us veterans, now we get out there and we buy our General Motors products, okay? American made, that's the way to go. All right, so that's what I got from a man that's Really old. He told me that one time. Okay. All right. Anyways, let's head down to the Chevy store. Let's get in our old Buick LeSabre and let's go down there and see what a Chevy truck's all about. All right, everybody. We're down here at the Chevy store. So here is a Chevy work truck. Now, you do got to take into consideration. We were looking at a 2017 GMC Sierra down there. This is a 2018. But anyways, a few things I was incorrect on, which I'm realizing and I'm learning right now, and y'all are learning with me. First off, the Chevy Silverado, you know, it's got a pretty good looking front end too, don't it? It really does. It's kind of a tough choice here. Do you like the GMC front or the Chevy front a little bit better? Let me know in the comments. But the work truck here has also got a projector headlight, and it's got a... LED looking light right down in there. So looks like it has just as nice of a headlight assembly as the GMC Sierra did. But again, do that and look, do they not look pretty much identical? They really do. Similar wheels, but we did see on the GMC it had some black trim going on there. We don't see that on the Chevy. What do you like better? Do you like the black trim there or do you like it white like the Silverado's got? I'm trying to see if there's anything different in the back. Not a whole lot. I mean, still got the same spot here to put your foot. Same looking tail light. Now, I do notice you got a backup camera on this one. I didn't see a backup camera on the GMC tow package. But for the most part, pretty similar in looks, you know, not a whole lot of differences. Again, we did see a 2009 GMC down the road. These are newer body style Chevys right here, 2018. So this is no comparison at all, really, going from a 2009 body style GMC to a 2018 Silverado. I, mean, I don't know about y'all, but that rock, that, uh, oh, that's a, a high country. That high country Chevy is beautiful. Oh my Lord, that thing is sexy. It's gorgeous, I love it. I mean, I really do. I love all the chrome and, oh man, it's just so pretty. I mean, even this, I love that. I love the white grill and the, all the white going on, the Z71 logo down there. I really do. And then even the blue. Look at the blue. Got the blue front. Chevy's got a good looking truck. And I know there's a lot of people that watch my videos and they just seem to like the Fords so much better. And they say, oh, we just don't like the front on the Chevy. But you really need to think about it, folks. I mean, is that not a beautiful front end of a truck? I don't know. I like it. Especially that, that uh, high country we just looked at. So anyways, that's really about the end of the video. I can't go in too farther tonight on this. You know, if we do get a 2017 or 2018 GMC in that's similar to a 1500 like this, I'll definitely come back and revisit the review and just spec it out and really look at everything. But right now, I'm just kind of working with what I got as an inventory. So I don't have, you know, an exact 
you know, 2017 or 2018 GMC Sierra 1500 versus that. You know, I don't have a GMC dealership out here and we don't keep GMC trucks on ground at our Chevy store, so it's a little tough to do it. But if we get one in, I'll definitely go back in. And as always, I enjoy making these videos because I enjoy being able to see what y'all have to say. Because a lot of people watching are very knowledgeable in trucks and you can get in that comment section in there and give me a breakdown on what you think is different. And if there's anything different on the trucks that, you know, I'm not noticing, please let me know I want to know I'm here to learn myself okay I, that's one thing y'all notice from me as being in a car review type guy on YouTube I'm not claiming to be an expert and I'm not claiming to be a know-it-all with everything I mean realistically to me YouTube is a community and it goes both ways it really does y'all share information with me I share information with you at the end of the day we all walk away from watching a video and we all learn something so have a blessed day everybody make sure to like comment please hit the bell notification there and share some of y'all's feedback with me I really would appreciate that have a great day everybody thanks again we'll see you soon I'm Chad and I'm signing out